Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking for lunch a quick and easy tuna pasta. So let's begin. Okay, so let's turn this um, stove on. I'm going to turn it on to number 7. You can turn it up to it's on full whack if you want. If you want to make this quicker. And I'll just add in about three, three, four tablespoons of good old olive oil. I've got my water here ready for the pasta, which I'll also turn on. I'll turn that up to number nine on full whack. No, I'll turn that up to number seven, I think. Yeah, and I've got my spaghetti here. If you don't have spaghetti, you can use any other pasta, obviously. And yes, I will be snapping it the way we like it here. Um, today, I'm not using my own homemade tomato sauce because I've run out. So I'll be using the usual 400 gram cartons. I've got my tuna here. Obviously, it's from one of them big one kilo tins, so that works out, I think it's about two to three small tins of tuna. I've got my, a bit of onion chopped up, a bit of garlic chopped up, some mushrooms that I had in the fridge, some coloured pepper, can't forget the paprika and that's all really so we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll add um, the vegetables okay and here is my large four kilo um, tomato mashed up which I'll use to make my own homemade tomato adding various herbs and spices. I'll have to do this hopefully tomorrow and as I mentioned I'll leave a link below if you're interested in making your own you'll save a lot of money. So this this looks hot enough so let's start off by adding the um, onion and the garlic I could have added some red or green pepper but I won't this time and the mushrooms it's the last lot of the mushrooms that I bought the other day I might have to see how can I freeze these because the these little bottom mushrooms you do get bogged sometimes, well most times, in the supermarket. Right, so this, we'll just gently fry it off until it's all nicely, nice and soft. And I'll quickly show you what I made this morning for tonight's lunch, which will be accompanied with some homemade, fresh, crusty bread. It's a Russian salad with potatoes, tuna, egg, and peas and mayonnaise. Nothing else. Nice and simple. Nice cold meal for tonight. Sorted. Right, so once this is ready, let's add in some sweet paprika. Just a sprinkle or a teaspoon. And some pepper. Black pepper, white, red, this is multicolored. Um, I'll add in some salt. And the tuna.
and the fried tomato sauce. And obviously, there's a lot of tomato on the sides of this, so there's no way I'm going to chuck it away. So I'll add some water to it. Just a bit of water, about a quarter of a glass, and give it a good shake. And we'll pour it on here. Lovely jubbly. So let's mix this about. And we'll just leave it here until it starts to bubble. So once it starts to bubble, what we'll do, I'll turn it down to number three, right down to number three, so that it just bubbles away gently without it sticking or anything or jumping about. And I'll cover it up and just leave it there until, wait a minute, until the water for the pasta starts to boil and then we'll add it in, the pasta. So let's wait. Oh, and while I wait for this to boil, it's a good time to have an aperitif. Some leftover Spanish omelette with a glass of rosé wine with an ice cube because it was hot in the bottle. Cheers. Okay, so once the water starts to boil, I've got my pasta here. I bet I want to snap it, of course, we'd like it that way. So try and snap it in two lots. Lovely jubbly. Just how we like it. Perfect snap. Nothing on the sides. Nothing went overboard like it usually does. And I'll add some salt to this also. And we'll boil this for about 12 minutes. It all depends on how you like it, you know. Alright, so this spaghetti is ready. So I'll turn the heat off, the whole stove off. And the spaghetti, I'm just going to drain it in this thingy bob. Like that. Let's leave it on there for a while. For any water to drain off. And then today I'm going to chuck it inside here directly. I don't usually do that. Usually I put this into that. But today I'm going to put that into this. So let's wait a minute or two. Right. Whee. Okay, so let's um, give this a mix about. Well, Nice and easy lunch today, isn't it? What do you think? I'd be grateful if you left me a comment. And I will answer you back, obviously. So, here's today's lunch. And obviously there will be some left over. So probably today is Saturday when I'm cooking this. I don't know what day it is when this video is out. So probably on Monday, if there's enough left over for two, I will have this, we will have this, with a couple of eggs each. 
and if not I'll have it for evening dinner okay everyone thank you very much for watching and see you soon